Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk about Android Studio and the difference between a list view and a recycler view. Now, if you're building Android apps, you're going to notice that when you create different uh, items, you can have recycler view now as one of the choices, which you can see here on the screen is an item list. And then if you go to the legacy items, you can see the list view. So what's the difference and why would you use one or the other? So there are several reasons why you might want to use a recycler view over a list view, but here's probably the most important. So on the left side, you can see an illustration of what a list view item works like. If you load a long list of items into the, into the application memory, you're going to store each one of them in a small layout. And that takes a lot of space. It takes a lot of RAM, you might say. And of course, your phone is probably limited on that resource. So if you get a long list, the performance can get slow. Now in a recycler view, we have a different kind of a system. You can see that there are only several items that are defined here, such as it looks like about seven for the size of this screen. And then the recycler part is that we are not going to create a thousand different pieces for the layouts, a thousand different layouts. We're going to create seven of them. And as we cycle through, we are going to reuse them. And so that's why it's called a recycler view. And the primary reason why you would want to use it is for performance. However, there are several other items and let's look at those here. So in recycler view, there is an item decoration which is very nice because it allows you to create things like dividers, highlights, and grouping boundaries. And so it's a nice aesthetic appearance. Now another reason why you might want to use the recycler view is what's called the staggered grid layout manager, which is kind of like the flex box idea of putting grids on the, uh, on the, on the screen where all the pieces are not the same size. So a Pinterest kind of a look. Here's another advantage that you could use. You can see from the documentation that we have a item animator. And so the item animator is pretty cool. It's where you get to have different uh, effects. So you can see here's an image of a item that is being updated and the graphics show that, it, you know, that the items can shift around. Here's another example where you would have a item where you are sorting the list and each time you click a button, it doesn't just flash the changes, but it animates the changes. So that's a nice reason why you would want to use a recycler view. Here's another picture from the uh, documentation about different layouts that you can use, grids. You can have linear layouts that are vertical and also as horizontal. So if you're interested in creating an application with a list in it with a recycler view, I have a tutorial for you. Uh, you, you can see that the results of the tutorial show you that I've created a a list of presidents and so each item has a picture, a string, and an integer. And it allows you to not only display the list but to edit each item. If you click the item you can update here and then also there's a sorting option so if you want to sort them by alphabetized or by their date or in reverse order it'll show you how to do that. So a tutorial that does quite a few things. And if you're interested in this kind of thing please subscribe to the channel here. Uh, I'm a professor of computer science and information systems, and so if you want to look over my shoulder and see what we're doing in class, that's what the point here is on YouTube. So make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell, and please feel free to attend class. Every week we have a new lesson.